Hello friends welcome to our YouTube channel we have come up with special mcq series based on a competitive book of agriculture by nameraj sunda we will come up with more subject wise mcq series from this book this is part 2 and today we will cover mcqs from entomology topic so without wasting your time let's start the video question number 1 the word entomology is derived from dash root word the options are greek latin roman or arabic the correct answer is option a greek so the word entomology is derived from greek root word whereas the word apiculture is derived from latin word the word cereals is derived from roman root word and the word monsoon is derived from arabic root word question number 2 outermost layer of insect integument is dash the options are cuticle epidermis basement membrane or hypodermis the correct answer is option a cuticle so outermost layer of insect integument is cuticle whereas the second layer of body wall beneath the cuticle is the epidermis the innermost non cellular layer is the basement membrane and hypodermis is the other name of epidermis question number 3 cuticle is outermost layer of insect body wall which is made up of dash the options are chitin protein both a and b or none of these the correct answer is option c both a and b so cuticle is outermost layer of insect body wall which is made up of chitin and protein chitin which constitutes 25 to 60 percentage and protein constitutes of about 25 to 40 percentage Question number 4 cuticle is non cellular non living layer of insect body wall secreted by dash the options are hypodermis basement membrane wax layer or cuticulin the correct answer is option a hypodermis so cuticle is non cellular non living layer of insect body wall secreted by hypodermis it is the second layer of insect body wall beneath the cuticle and hypodermis is also called epidermis and its main function is to secrete cuticle question number 5 the main structural protein of insect is dash the options are anthropodin scler sclerotin resilin or cuticulin the correct answer is option a anthropodin so the main structural protein of insect is anthropodin question number 6 the unicellular and only living layer of insect body wall is dash the options are epidermis basement membrane cuticle or wax layer the correct answer is option a epidermis so the unicellular and only living layer of insect body wall is epidermis whereas the non cellular and non living layer is the cuticle Question number 7 how many segments are present in insect head the options are 6 3 11 or 4 the correct answer is option a 6 so there are 6 segments which are present in insect head whereas there are 3 segments which are present in the thorax of the insect and 11 segments are present in insect abdomen Question number 8 the basal part of insect antenna is dash the options are scape flagella pedicel or coxa the correct answer is option a scape so the basal part of insect antenna is the scape whereas the terminal segment of antenna is the flagella the middle segment of antenna is the pedicel and the basal part of insect leg is the coxa question number 9 filiform type of antenna is present in dash the options are grasshopper termites cetaceous or plumose the correct answer is option a grasshopper so filiform type of antenna is present in grasshopper whereas moniliform type of antenna is present in termites cetaceous type of antenna is present in cockroach and plumose type of antenna is present in male mosquito Question number 10 geniculate type of antenna is present in dash the options are ants bees weevils or all of these the correct answer is option d all of these so geniculate type of antenna is present in all the three which is ants bees and weevils let's know more about it so the type of the antenna and the example filiform type of antenna the example is grasshopper moniliform type of antenna the example is termites bipectinate type of antenna is and the example is silk worm moth 
For clavid type of antenna, the examples are butterflies and blister beetle. For geniculate type of antenna, the examples are ant, bees and weevils. For serrate type of antenna, the example is pulse beetle. And for capitate type of antenna, the example is khapra beetle. Question number 11. The beginning process of insect molting is called as dash. The options are metamorphosis, apolysis, Ecdysis or both B and C. The correct answer is option B, apolysis. So the beginning process of insect molting is called as apolysis, whereas the ending process of molting is the ecdysis. The insect molting takes place in two processes, apolysis and ecdysis. Apolysis is beginning process, while ecdysis is the ending process. Question number 12. Coleopteran insect have dash type of mouth parts. The options are biting and chewing, piercing and sucking, sponging type or siphoning type. The correct answer is option A, biting and chewing. So Coleopteran insect have biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Let's know more about the type of mouth parts. So biting and chewing type of mouth parts, the examples are coleopterans, grasshoppers, locusts and termites. For piercing and sucking type of mouth parts, the examples are hemipterans. For sponging type of mouth parts, the example are, is housefly. For siphoning type of mouth part, the examples are butterflies and moths. For chewing and lapping type of mouth part, the example are bees and wasps. For rasping and sucking type of mouth part, the examples is thrip. Question number 13. The larvae of honeybees wasp is known as. The options are maggots, grub, caterpillar or both A and B. The correct answer is option B, grub. So the larvae of honeybees or wasp is known as grub. So the larvae of order Hymenoptera comes under grubs whereas the larvae of order Diptera is called maggots and the larvae of order Lepidoptera are called caterpillars. Question number 14. Asymmetrical mouth part is seen in dash. The options are thrips, housefly, aphids or jacids. The correct answer is option A, thrips. So asymmetrical mouth part is seen in thrips where right mandible is absent. Question number 15. Fossorial leg modification is seen in dash. The options are mole cricket, head blouse, cockroach or praying mantis. The correct answer is option A, mole cricket. So fossorial leg modification is seen in mole cricket. Let's know more about the modification of the legs. Ambulatory modification of the leg the purpose being walking the example is cockroach for saltorial modification of the leg the purpose is jumping and examples are hind leg of grasshopper for scansorial modification of leg the purpose is clinging and the example being head louse for cursorial modification of leg the purpose being running and the example being ants and wasps for stridulatorial modification of leg the purpose is sound production and the examples are crickets for fossorial modification of leg the purpose is digging whereas the example is four legs of mole crickets for natatorial modification of leg the purpose is swimming an example is hind legs of water bug for raptatorial modification of leg the purpose is praying an example is four legs of praying mantis for foragial modification of leg the purpose is pollen collection an example is seen in hind legs of worker bee Question number 16. In honeybees, honey formation, nectar conversion takes place in dash. The options are gizzard, crop, midgut or hindgut. The correct answer is option B, crop. So in honeybees, the honey formation takes place in crop. In honeybees, crop is known as honey stomach. Question number 17. Which part of elementary canal of insects is endodermal in origin. The options are foregut, midgut, hindgut or all of these. The correct answer is option B, midgut. So, which part of elementary canal of insect is endodermal in origin? It is the midgut. Whereas ectodermal in origin is the foregut and ectodermal again is the hindgut. 
Question number 18. Insect wing modification elytra is seen in dash. The options are beetles, housefly, grasshopper or hemipterans. The correct answer is option A, beetles. So, insect wing modification elytra is seen in beetles. Whereas, halters are seen in housefly. The Tagmina wing modification is seen in grasshopper and hemilytra is seen in hemipterans. Question number 19. Father of insect physiology is Dash. The options are V. B. Wigglesworth, William Kirby, R. H. Painter or N. A. Cobb. The correct answer is option A. V. B. Wigglesworth. So, Father of insect physiology is V. B. Wigglesworth, whereas father of entomology is William Kirby. The father of host plant resistance is R. H. Painter and father of modern nematology is N. A. Cobb. Question number 20. F part of insect elementary canal that is known as stomodeum is dash. The options are foregut, midgut, hindgut or gizzard. The correct answer is option A for gut. So part of insect elementary canal that is known as tomodem is foregut whereas midgut is the stomach. The hindgut is also known as proctoderm and gizzard is the proventriculus. Question number 21. In digestive system of insect, storage of food is the function of dash. The options are crop, gizzard, Proventriculus or both A and B, the correct answer is option A, crop. So, in digestive system of insect, storage of food is the function of crop. Question number 22, filter chambers are present in dash. The options are homopaterans, coleopaterans, lepidopaterans or hymenopaterans. The correct answer is option A, homopaterans. So, filter chambers are present in homopaterans. Filter chamber allows the elimination of excess water and soluble carbohydrates to prevent excess dilution of hemolymph. Question number 23. Main excretory product in terrestrial insects are dash. The options are uric acid, ammonia, urea or all of these. The correct answer is option A, uric acid. So main excretory product in terrestrial insects are uric acid whereas the main excretory product in aquatic insects are ammonia and in mammals it is urea. Question number 24. Principal and chief organ of excretion in insects is dash. The options are malfeasant tubules, integument, trachea or nephrocytes. The correct answer is option A malfeasant tubules. So Principal and chief organ of excretion in insect is malfeasant tubules. Question number 25. Malfeasant tubules are absent in dash. The options are columbolin, aphids, termites or both A and B. The correct answer is option D, both A and B. So malfeasant tubules are absent in columbolin and aphids. Question number 26. Juvenile hormones are secreted by dash. The options are corpora alata, neurosecretory cells, prothoracic gland or corpora cardiaca. The correct answer is option A, corpora alata. So juvenile hormones are secreted by corpora alata whereas neurosecretory cells secrete the brain hormone and the exozyme are secreted by prothoracic glands. Question number 27. The following family to which plant hopper belongs is dash. The options are Delphacidae, Cicadelidae, Aphidae or Pseudococcidae. The correct answer is option A, Delphacidae. So the following family to which plant hopper belongs is the Delphacidae whereas the family to which leaf hopper belongs is the Cicadelidae. The family to which plant lice belongs is the Aphidae, and the family to which millibug belongs is Pseudococcidae. Question number 28. Parasitoid of sugarcane top border is dash. The options are Isotema javensis, Dipha aphidaevora, Platygaster oryzae or Encarsia perinosia. 
The correct answer is option A, Isotema javansis. So, parasitoid of sugarcane top borer is Isotema javansis, whereas the parasitoid of sugarcane woolly aphid is Dipha aphi divora. The parasitoid of gall midge is Platygaster oryzae, and parasitoid of apple sand jones scale is Encarsia perinosia. Question number 29. Which of the following is called Italian B? The options are Apis mellifera, Apis florea, Apis serrana indica or Apis dorsita. The correct answer is option A, Apis mellifera. So, Apis mellifera is called the Italian bee, whereas Apis florea is called the little bee. Apis serrana indica is the Indian bee and Apis dorsita is the rock bee. Question number 30. When juvenile hormone is present in high concentration, the new cuticle forms to dash. The options are larvae, pupa, adult or none of the above. The correct answer is option A, larvae. So when juvenile hormone is present in high concentration, the new cuticle forms to larvae. When juvenile hormone is in low concentration, the new cuticle forms to pupa. When juvenile hormone is absent, then it is seen in adult. Moving on to the next question, toxic chemical cantharidin is produced by DASH. The options are blister beetle, pulse beetle, capra beetle or red pumpkin beetle. The correct answer is option A, blister beetle. So toxic chemical cantharidin is produced by blister beetle. Question number 32. Sweet potato weevil belongs to the family DASH. The options are dermestidae. Curculionidae, Apionidae or Melolonthidae. The correct answer is option C, Apionidae. So, sweet potato weevil belongs to the family Apionidae, whereas Capra beetle belongs to the family Dermestidae and Rice weevil and grain weevil belongs to the family Curculionidae and white grub belongs to the family Melolonthidae. Question number 33. Most severe and damaging pest belongs to which of the following category? The options are key pest, major pest, minor pest or regular pest. The correct answer is option A, key pest. So most severe and damaging pest belongs to the key pest category. Question number 34. Brinjal variety resistant to shoot and fruit border is dash. The options are panth samrat. Pusa purple cluster, both A and B or Nilima. The correct answer is option C, both A and B. So, brinjal variety resistant to shoot and fruit borer is Panth Samrat and Pusa purple cluster. Question number 35. Treating pulses with vegetable oil is DASH method of pest management. The options are mechanical, physical, cultural or biological the correct answer is option B, physical. So, treating pulses with vegetable oil is physical method of pest management. Question number 36. For safe storage of cereals, moisture content should be dash percentage. The options are 10 to 12, 8 to 10, 6 to 8 or none of these. The correct answer is option A, 10 to 12. So, for safe storage of cereals, moisture content should be 10 to 12 percentage. For safe storage of pulses, moisture content should be 8 to 10 percentage. And for safe storage of oil seeds, the moisture content should be around 6 to 8 percentage. Question number 37. Chemicals that is beneficial to release. Releaser and not favorable to receiver is called. The options are allomones, chiromones, pheromone or none of these. The correct answer is option A, allomones. So chemicals that is beneficial to releaser and not favorable to receiver is called allomones. Whereas chemical favorable to receiver but not to the releaser are the chiromones. Question number 38. Intraspecific chemicals secreted by an organism to environment is called DASH. The options are pheromones, allomones, chiromones or all of these. The correct answer is option A, pheromones. So intraspecific chemicals secreted by an organism to environment is called pheromones. Question number 39. Which is the first insect growth regulator IGR insecticide used for pest management? The options are methoprene, kinoprene, hydroprene or pyriproxifen. The correct answer is option A. Methoprene. So, methoprene is the first insect growth regulator insecticide used for pest management. Methoprene is 
also known as first birational insecticide a birational pesticide is a term used to define any pesticide material that relatively causes no harm to humans or animals and does little or no damage to the environment methoprene is a juvenile hormone analog which acts as a growth growth regulator when used as an insecticide methoprene does not kill insects instead it interferes with an insect's life cycle and prevents it from reaching maturity or reproducing question number 40 which of the following igr is first chitin synthesis inhibitor the options are diflubenzuron buprofenzin lufenuron or teflubenzuron the correct answer is option a diflubenzuron so diflubenzuron is the igr which is first chitin synthesis inhibitor and the chitin synthesis inhibitor used against homopteran insect is buprofenzin and the chitin synthesis inhibitor used against thrips is the lufenuron and against coleopteran and lepidopteran pest it is teflubenzuron question number 41 which of the following is called third generation of pesticide the options are juvenile hormone analogs chitin synthesis inhibitor molting hormone analog or semiochemicals the correct answer is option a juvenile hormone analogs so juvenile hormone analogs is called third generation of pesticide the third generation pesticides are basically the modified forms of the insect hormones that show a great specificity to the pest or in insect targeted the juvenile hormones analogs such as methoprene hydroprene and phenoxycarb do not kill the insect directly but prevent the development of their larvae gradually they decrease the population of the insect as the adult insects will never be formed hence the correct answer is juvenile hormone analogs Question number 42 an example of juvenile hormone analog among the following is dash the options are phenoxycarb diflubenzuron halofenoxide or methoxyphenoxide the correct answer is option a phenoxycarb so an example of juvenile hormone analog among the following is phenoxycarb question number 43 Acridae is the family of dash the options are locust cricket mole cricket or none of these the correct answer is option a locust so acridae is the family of locust whereas tetigonidae is the family of cricket and grylotalpidae is the family of mole cricket question number 44 When 10 pairs of functional spiracles are present respiratory system is called dash the options are holonistic type pronistic type metanistic type or anistic type the correct answer is option a holonistic type so when 10 pairs of functional spiracles are present respiratory system is called holonistic type where only one thoracic spiracle is functional it is in pronistic type when only one abdominal spiracle is functional it is called the metanistic type and when no functional spiracle is present it is called anistic type question number 45 destructive insect and pest act was enacted in dash the options are 1914 1968 1946 or 1971 the correct answer is option a 1914 so destructive insect and pest act was enacted in 1914 whereas the insecticide act was enacted in 1968 whereas the directorate of plant protection quarantine and storage was established in 1946 and in the year 1971 the insecticide act came into force question number 46 who is the founder of entomological society of india the options are lionel d nicewille carl linnaeus hem singh pruthi or agastino bassi the correct answer is option c hem singh pruthi so Hem Singh Pruthi is the founder of Entomological Society of India whereas the father of taxonomy is Carl Linnaeus the father of insect pathology is Agostino Bassi question number 47 totally parasitic insect order among the following is dash the options are strepsiptera zooptera hymenoptera or coleoptera 
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रेप्स पटेरा सो टोटली पैरासिटिक इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर अमंग फॉलोइंग इज स्ट्रेप्स पटेरा जोरो पटेरा इज द स्मॉलेस्ट इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर द हाईली इवॉल्व इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर इज द हाइमिनो पटेरा एंड द लार्जेस्ट इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर इज द कोलियो पटेरा क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट टिक्स एंड माइट्स बिलोंग टू द क्लास डैश द ऑप्शन आर एरकनेडा चिलोपोडा डिप्लोपोडा और प्रोट्यूरा द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए एरकनेडा सो टिक्स एंड माइट्स बिलोंग टू द क्लास एरकनेडा वेर एज सेंटिपिड्स बिलोंग टू चिलोपोडा मिलीपिड्स बिलोंग टू डिप्लोपोडा एंड टेलस्टोन टेल्स बिलोंग्स टू प्रोट्यूरा Question number forty-nine. How many insect order are there according to A, D, Ames? The options are twenty-nine, twenty-seven, twenty-five, or thirty. The correct answer is option A, twenty-nine. So there are twenty-nine insect orders according to A, D, Ames. Question number fifty. The sex pheromone is used in IMP of gram pod borer Helicoverpa armigera is dash. The options are gossypleur. Helilior, granlior, or hexalior. The correct answer is option B, helilior. So the sex pheromone which is used in IMP of gram pod borer is helilior, whereas for pink ballworm it is gossypleur, for cotton ballworm it is granlior, and for synthetic for pink ballworm it is hexalior. That was all. Thank you, friends, for watching our video. Hope you find it useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. Thank you.